Hey everybody, Ricky Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, June the 17th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race 8, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six for all long sprint on the dirt track. Three year rolls and up race for an optional claiming purse of some $56,000. Contenders number two, be bullish. Number five, Frazzle. Number three, Spirit of Cochise. And number one, Just Hold On. Number two, be bullish. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a slight class drop. Is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight starts, including back to back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Richard Dutrow Jr. send him postward this afternoon. They fit the board with an impressive 66% of more than 130 entries saddled as a team to date. Number five, Frazzle. Decent early speed abilities for the sprint as the pace profile leader. He's won four of his last five starts overall, including a seven length power run win in his second race back. Race eight summary number two be bullish tops my contenders list which also includes number five Frazzle number three Spirit of Cochise and number one just hold on two five three one in the eighth from Belmont Park. Go to Churchill Downs next for their featured race four seven twenty six p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the opening first stakes eight and a half rollings on the turf three year rolls and up race four at sixty eight thousand dollars. Contenders number six Dark Cove. Number two, Tellur. Number one, Jaja Weed. And number three, Screenplay. Number six, Dark Cove. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by six units. Has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five, hitting the board in three of those efforts, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Manuel Cruz and trainer Ken McPeak sent him to the post. They've hit the board with 60% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number two, Turler produced power runs in five straight starts, hitting the board in four, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Race four summary, number six, Dark Cove, tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Turler, number one, Tajaweed and number three screenplay six two one three in the fourth from Churchill Downs the sixty eight thousand dollar opening for stakes bonus long shots Canterbury Park race seven entry number eight Halo's Rocket drops in class by eight units the overall speed leader in this claiming field spring at six furlongs on the dirt Charlestown races in Slots Casino race two number eight Royal Coastline a ten to one bomb takes a huge class drop of 21 Trackmaster units. Nice speed for this maiden sprint. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Churchill Downs on a Friday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.